hi there in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a sample gradle project in IntelliJ IDEA for that you go to the file and go to new project click on that in the next window you have to select the gradle from the left navigation bar select Java if you want to groovy files in the project check groovy as well but I do not want that so I'm just going to select Java then I'm gonna click on next here put the group ID and artifact ID for your project and artifact ID now group ID is normally in the form of org.soft post like the name of the website in reverse order artifact ID is any unique ID for this project click on next and here there are important settings like use auto import like when we are creating a gradle project there are some dependencies uh, dependency libraries so whether you want to uh, use auto import so I'm gonna check this checkbox then create directories for empty content routes automatically so checking this option is important uh, for you because it will create empty uh, directories for the source main java and a source test java these are important directories where you will and uh, also the standard directory structure that gradle follows just like maven so this this is important that you check this checkbox otherwise those directories will not be created and you will have to create them, uh, them manually then next uh, setting is like it is asking for the gradle home location so i have installed gradle on my system and i am gonna select that gradle location over here so i have installed my gradle on this g drive in softwares So this is my Gradle location. I have selected that and then click on next. Here it is asking for the project name, uh, which is usually the artifact ID. And click on next and finish. After that, the Gradle project will be created automatically for you, and you can uh, create classes, methods, whatever you want in that project, and use Gradle to manage the building process so as you can see it is building the project as soon as we have created that it also adds the dependencies that are important for this project so by default the JUnit that is unit testing framework is dependencies added by default so it is trying to build that particular project in the, in the project that we have created just now and you can also see th uh, see that here in that uh, project directory there is a file called as build.gradle which is used to manage the build process like what where the dependencies are which repository you want to get these dependencies from and then you can also customize your build using domain language called as groovy and there is also a settings.gradle file where there are settings related to specifically gradle so it takes a file uh, for the first time to import that uh, build that project gradle project and you can see that the it has created this directory source main source test test java resources etc this is the standard directory layout that is used by the maven and gradle projects and you can create the classes in this uh, java folder so this main directory contains the main uh, java source code and uh, test directory contains the test classes that are used to test the main source code so this is how we can create a uh, gradle project and uh, to manage the gradle i'll just show you this what gradle file looks like so this is the group for this project and this is the version of this project this is apply plugin java that means th the plugin is used to carry out some imp important or basic tasks for the particular project so it is going to compile build and all that uh, test all these tasks will be executed automatically when you apply this plugin and uh, this source compatibility is compatible with the uh, JDK 1.5 and then a repository so this indicates that this ma uh, gradle is going to take or download the repositories or dependencies jar files from this repository maven central and then what all dependencies it is going to download is given here the scope of that and the dependency group name and version and uh, to manage uh, to see further uh, like what tasks we can complete using this gradle so there are build 
in the build page uh, like we have got all these tasks we can execute just by double clicking on that and we can also create a new class like that in our new project in gradle project and then write your main method whatever you want this out and I so I'm gonna build this project using this build gradle task just double click on that and it will build the project so it is saying that build is failed because could not resolve all the dependencies for the configuration it doesn't found the j unit so for that it is saying that repositories are not indexed yet so i'm gonna disable this so for that i'm gonna uh, select the settings in there there is one setting related to that project like if you go to the build compile execution deployment in build tools in the gradle there is offline mode so we can uncheck that and click on apply but okay and i'm gonna synchronize this so it will download all the dependencies for us so it is resolving the dependencies here as you can see once it is resolved the dependencies i'm gonna again execute the task build so when it says that it is resolving dependencies it is actually downloading that particular external third party libraries dependent libraries from the maven repository and then make it available for our project so it is also building the project because we have added that external dependency now and it is downloading that from the maven repository as you can see here and that is process is completed now it is indexing that particular library so that it will be able to find that library next time when we refer it now this process is completed now i'm going to build it again now you can see executing external task build and it is compiling java processing resources classes jar assemble all these tasks are automatically getting executed this time build should be successful because we have added the dependency so you can see the dependency as well from external library section here you can see that jnit is added so there are some warnings which you can ignore and you can see that build is successful in 42 seconds so first time it takes a file but uh, if i do it again it will take very less time as you can see it is successful very quickly because it doesn't compile these files again because already compiled files are will not be recompiled so this is how we can uh, build your project in uh, first gradle project in intel jd if you like this video you can just thumbs up thank you